Hello dear students. Today let us learn theorem 4 on connected spaces. If a subset E of a topological space has the property that any two elements of E belong to a connected subset of E, then we have to prove E is connected. Let us read the theorem again. So if a subset E of a topological space has the property that any two points of E belong to a connected subspace of E, then E is connected. Okay. Let us take two elements, A and B, belonging to E. And let us take those two elements belong to a connected subset of E. So there is C, which is connected subset of E. Right. What we have to prove to prove that E is connected. Right. I think we have understood the theorem now. So we have to prove E is connected. Suppose E is not connected. That means E has a separation. That means I can write down E as union of two sets A and B, which are separated. Which are separated. And we know what are separated sets. Right, A intersection B bar equal to null, that is equal to A bar intersection B. Right, okay. Now, what is C? C is connected, subset of E, and E has a separation. E has a separation, and E is nothing but A uh, union B. Right, we have a theorem. Uh, what is the theorem? Theorem 3 of connected spaces. Right, so using theorem three of connected spaces or by using one of the theorems, we get C is either completely in A, right, or C is either completely B. Fine, so using that theorem, we got C, what is C? C is connected subset of E, E has a separation, E has a separation A union B, then C is either in A or C is completely in B, okay. So uh, let us take two points in uh, E, right? Let us take two points in E. Remember, we have to prove E is connected and we have assumed E is not connected. So we have to get a contradiction. We have to get a contradiction. Let us see where we get the contradiction. Okay. Now take any two points in E. Let us take two points in E. Let us take two points in E. Okay. So A comma B belonging to E and E is nothing but A union B. So that means what our uh, two points may be in both of them in A or both of them in B or maybe one point in A, the other point in B. Let us take the extreme case where uh, A belongs to A and B, small b belongs to capital B. Okay, but these A and B are also in C are also in C. Remember our C is subset of E and two points A comma B will belong to C that is contained in E. Right. Okay. So, and we have got C is either completely in A and C is either completely in B. Right. So, this implies what? This implies both of these points are completely in A or completely in B. That means what? These two points are belonging to A and belonging to B. Right. So actually, A is coming from A and B is coming from B. That means what? I've got, you know, uh, A intersection B is not null. That means, you know, this is a contradiction because A intersection B is, right, uh, disjoint. So that means what? I'm getting they are not disjoint. No, they are not disjoint. Not disjoint implies they are not separated. Remember, we proved one theorem. Separatedness implies disjointness and not disjoint. So it will definitely imply that they are not separated also. So A and B are not separated. Right. That means what? We got a contradiction. We got a contradiction. That means, uh, you know, uh, we got a contradiction for uh, we assumed E as a separation. No. E as a separation. Right. So I got a contradiction. So therefore, we, we E is, you know, has to be connected. E has to be connected. And we had to prove E connected, hence the theorem. 
very very simple theorem